Da Vinci uh, coming back here with uh, any other recruits you guys feel confident about. Jaden Bonsu still at this point, I feel confident about the uh, safety from New Jersey. Um, that's one. Um, anybody else, I think, is a little bit further away from committing. Um, but that's a good question. I feel good about Damari Brown from American Heritage, Sullen Brown's son, Sullen Brown, two-time uh, national champion and champion at Miami, who I worked with for 11 years, or yeah, at uh, Miramar High School. Uh, so I remember when he was coaching, the he has two sons. One went somewhere else, the first one, um, and Damari is the second son. Uh, but I remember uh, Selwyn would go around and uh, coach their, you know, U8, U10, U11, whatever team. Um, I'm like, yeah, no, like another championship, Underwood. Like, like we would, you know, just chop it up in the hallway or whatever. It's like, oh, yeah, like, oh, you weren't here on Friday. He's like, oh, yeah, no, we went out of state to, you know, da da da. So, you know, we beat them 66 to three or whatever. So, you know, another, I'm like, damn. But, uh, yeah, so he's a, a legacy guy and a, a kid, uh, obviously a smart kid to go to American Heritage, one of the best private schools around American Heritage uh, educational systems. Uh, really, really does incredible work. Uh, first of all, athletically, also, they, they do great work. Uh, there, so uh, he's another guy. Any DTs on the watch for Miami? Oh, there was the one kid, golly, Jordan Hall. Um, there's like seven recruits named Jordan Hall this cycle. We talked about this last week. The defensive tackle won, right? Um, so uh, he's a guy, uh, and then there's another couple of guys I think on the radar as well, but nobody that I feel like is gonna pop tomorrow. But if Marvin and crew want to make me wrong by locking in another four star, five star, you know, tomorrow morning or something, hey, go ahead. What about uh, this guy, Hakeem Williams, second rated wide receiver in the country? Yeah, Hakeem Williams is a guy that Miami's been on for a while. He was a four star pretty much throughout his entire junior season. Uh, at Fort Lauderdale Stranahan High School. Um, he's in the 6364 range. He plays power forward for their state championship level basketball team. Saw them play at the Big Eight uh, Broward County tournament a couple years ago. Um, yeah, they don't have a bunch of, you know, like Vernon Carey and Balsa Kopervica. Like, you know, who Vernon Carey, who went to Duke, who's number one player in America. Vernon Carey Jr., excuse me. His dad played off his line in Miami, but he went to Duke. Uh, 6'10", 6'11". Balsa Copper Vicka, Vicious, sorry. His first two years, three years, they played together at U school. And Copper Vicia was seven foot one as a freshman in high school, right? Mm -hmm. So you got those two in the post, you know, and doing everything. that Stranahan doesn't have that. Okay, uh, but they do have a damn good team. They're more guard wing oriented, uh, a lot of dribble drive, you know, ball movement. You know, they'll press you up and down the floor. They're super athletic, very skilled. Um, Williams is maybe not as skilled as their lead guards, but he's the big in their or one of the big dudes, the springy guy on their team. He plays the same role for them that um, Randy Moss played uh in high school when, cause you know, Randy Moss played high school basketball with Jason Williams while I chocolate. Right. So he was a six, four guy who could jump out of the gym. Hakeem Williams is a little bit more physically developed. He's more muscular, but similar in that kind of regard. But yeah, this is a guy who gets it done on the field and gets it done on the court. Um, so, you know, I like the, the multi faceted nature of his athleticism. Um, so he's not just a, a football guy. I'm pretty sure that he probably does some track as well. Cause pretty much everybody down here does. Um, but yeah, he's just uh, he's he was at the top of the conversation that we were having on this show for a good long time, um, and then um, over the course of this seven on seven year, he's really become even more coveted. So yeah, Hakeem Williams, uh, it's H Y K E E M by the way uh, on the spelling, but it's Hakeem. Yeah, uh, but uh, he's everybody's all American now. He's five star. You know, everybody's like, oh, you know, he's. Andre Johnson, you know, uh, part two, you know, things like that. Um, that's a guy that Miami, I think, desperately wants um, as well. They should. And everybody in America uh, should want a guy of that caliber. So, you know, we're going to see um, how things go there. I think Miami is probably going to try to make another run at him, uh, hopefully to get him in this class and everything. So, you know, we're going to see what happens with that. Uh, William Foles is another uh, guy 
of a similar size, not the exact same. He was a Dade Christian. He's like 6'3", 195. Uh, I think he's at some new prep school, I think in Hollywood, avant-garde prep or something, uh, I believe is where he's at now. But uh, William Foles is a guy who I believe is going to be committing somewhere in the beginning of August. And, uh, you know, Miami is maybe looking in that direction because, I mean, you're going to take both. Don't get me wrong. But I think that you take Foles even more if you think that you might not get Williams. Um, but he's also a four-star guy. So this is, I mean, by taking William Foles, uh, you're getting a four-star recruit who's performed really well. Dade Christian was a smaller school or, you know, and everything. So it's not saying that he was playing 8A football or whatever it is now, Metro 4 for the largest uh, classification, but he's a guy who could definitely play here. Um, while Miami plays the long game, I think, here with Hakeem Williams, because, yeah, when when asked earlier about Hakeem Williams, maybe last year, it might have seemed like he was near to, if Miami would have pushed, he might have been quick to commit. But since he's not on that and has now uh, – seeing what the recruiting trail might be able to offer him. I think that his timeline is now going to be protracted. So, you know, if you have already somebody like William Foles, who says that they're going to uh, commit sometime sooner, um, who is also a Miami caliber player, four-star blue chip recruit. So you're not missing anything by taking this guy. Then you take him while you continue to play the long game with Hakeem Williams.